All right, here's the deal. Here's what happened. So I find out from Kathy Tobin, who works here, obviously, that when we get a new batch of interns, Tom, our general manager, was asked once to address the interns, which he did. And it turned out he liked doing it. <laughs> so now Gave he... Gave him something to do. Yeah, so every day, yeah, because he's looking for stuff to do. <laughs> Tom's a nice man, but he doesn't have a whole lot to do around Can you here. Imagine the general manager of a huge radio station is addressing the interns. Yeah, and he pretty much tells them, I've heard everything that we tell them anyway. Oh, okay. You know, it's nothing new, but all right, you know what? What the hell? I Gives would it, love to hear the address anyway. Well, I, I got some of it on. I, I didn't tape. I, if I play the whole thing, you'd be sleeping. <laughs> That's what I figured. Right. What must that be like? It's so boring. <sighs> and Tom basically does a whole lecture on how if you don't want to do something, just don't do it. Like, he doesn't talk about inspiring them to do stuff. He tells them what not to do, which is pretty much his role around here. Well, he knows what he doesn't want to do, he just doesn't do. Right. So he's, <laughs> so basically he tells people, if you, if you feel like, you know, if someone's asking you to do something and you don't feel like doing it, don't do it. This is how I've gotten by in life. Yeah, that's how he got by, so why not give the advice to young people so there can be more Toms running around. So Tom gives them a lecture. Uh-oh, here's Tom now. <clears throat> I don't, I wish I got a lecture. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom gives the interns a lecture. Yes. And you want to be in here for this? Yeah, I think I do. Why? <laughs> He's trying, trying to protect himself now. So I said, why don't you tape what Tom says to the interns? I'd love to hear it. Yeah. And then, and then as we were talking, we said, you know, as long as Tom's going to be giving a lecture, we're going to set up microphones. Why not have the interns ask him questions? Yes. And I said, the one thing that'll bother Tom the most is asking questions about money, that the interns want money. A parking <laughs> fare, for, you know... If for anything. 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 And, I, and I rehearsed with them, and I even told them what Tom was going to say, and Tom, of course, said everything I said. Really? To yeah. Oh, we can't do that. that. You know, yeah, yeah. Oh, I have that on tape. I'm going to really? play you some of that. I'm oh. playing you everything. But are you on tape telling everything yes. what Tom would say? Yes. Oh, that's great. Oh, you great. have your setup. I have it all. I have it's right. a very long right. setup. Right. Okay. We had to edit some of it down because it takes... Yeah. I, I rehearsed them for over an hour and a half. <laughs> I wanted this to come out flawlessly. Perfect. Yeah. Well, they were real good. Right. Yeah. They were. They, they did a great job. And um, so, and then we said, well, okay, we'll ask him questions about money. And then let's get the questions more and more ridiculous, but not too ridiculous. That, that he right. catches on. Just uh, ridiculous enough. But we even have one British intern, and, and, and we said, <laughs> well, you'll ask a racist question. Right. But like you don't even you know she goes uh, what did she say what did she say to Tom she I, said I, I I remember exactly she used the N word she yes. said uh, can I go out on the street and, and interview and niggers interview, and interview homeless people and, and niggers, niggers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and right right so and then because I wanted Tom to think the interns were insane yeah and then some of them believe me he did because evidently he walked out afterwards and said to Kathy you know I called Kathy out of the I called Kathy out of the studio right and for. I, heard, I know exactly what you said. You said to Kathy, Kathy, you're nuts. I thought you were I, good at this. Yeah, I thought you were good at hiring interns, but I got to tell you something. This is the worst problem. <laughs> so I had one of the interns ask Tom. Um, of course, it's on the tape. Yeah. I, I had one of the interns ask Tom, uh, when I go to parties, a lot of girls want to have sex with me because I work on the Howard Stern show now. Is that okay? Is there anything illegal about it? So, like, he's, They've got all kinds of questions they need right. all kinds of So here I am. That's the one where right. I finally said, all right. Now, Tom, at one point during it, does say, where's the microphone? But when he left, you were convinced that they were for real. I mean, we even rehearsed if Tom... Ask, just listen. where's the microphone? Right. Right. Here's the rehearsal. Here's the rehearsal. So it wasn't obviously mic'd. No, no, oh, no. no. Oh, we had no. microphones great. like hidden all over oh, the place. that's great. Okay, so here is, this is me uh, rehearsing the interns. Okay. All right. Okay, so here we go. So, so stay with us here, just to make sure this rehearsal goes on. Listen, I can't help you out with any kind of financial. That, that's, you know, we made that clear from the beginning. I can't change the rules. We have rules. But I, I had a friend who interned at Johnson & Johnson, which is a big company, like our company. Yeah, but this isn't and, Johnson & Johnson. Right, but, but they had a cafeteria at least. They paid for his transportation. Tom. I'm being Tom. Uh, and, and I'm role playing. You're very good at it. Yeah, I, I, and everyone said it's identical. Uh, <laughs> We're going to show this on the TV show. We had all video cameras, oh, too. that's great. In a cafeteria, which gave him, like, 
like bagels and muffins in the morning, all that stuff. But we don't. We don't have any of that. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> but if you can't deal with that, you know, I'm, you know, we but want it's you like here. A, it's like a forty-five cent bagel for lunch. Yeah. Well, we you know, we pay you, then I have to pay at least three other. It's just people. getting a cafeteria or providing some kind of. Yeah. You know, and 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 the way this company has made its money off the sweat of interns, really. So. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say I know, that. I, know. That, I was that joking. That intern is very good. Yeah. Oh, oh they're oh, all good. Oh, the town they say they nothing. All real good. Right. They were real good. And it was his job to ask Tom the first question. I said, if Tom, if Tom gets out of here, it's your fault. <laughs> Tom, should I say that? Um, what about? Um, <clears throat> I know the station gets like um, a lot of free CDs from these record companies. Stuff. Will we be able to get any like free CDs? For concert tickets, possibly? I, no, I, I can't. No, I, I can't guarantee you that. <laughs> no, exactly. No. Right, I know. Right, right. <laughs> well, it seems kind of stingy, you know. I, we see all the, okay. you know, you know. But, but, but no, no, we, you know, we can't guarantee it. If we have something, we put it in a box, like dogs. You can fight over. It. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Say, I, say, Howard X, when you go interview a whore, can you reimburse me for my cab ride down there? Because I'm getting material. I think for the we show. look at things on an individual basis. <laughs> Well, seeing as we're um, talking about money, the other day when I was coming in, um, I opened the door of my Jeep, and this guy like just like ran right into me, knocked the door off. Let me let me stop you one minute. Do you think we should eliminate the four question? Because that might it's I, a little bit of a giveaway. It's a giveaway. Yeah. And this is, See how much work I put into yeah, this? Yeah, you're really hearing it out, so you yeah. hear what it sounds like. Oh yeah, in we the rehearsed. Real world, this so is a big rehearsal. What'll work and what won't. Well, wait, wait till Tom enters the picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little more rehearsal, I'll play you. Okay. Oh, good. Right, that's a little bit of a giveaway. Yeah. What do you guys think? Well, maybe it should maybe maybe just, just be put later. I was thought the whole careful. question. Maybe that should be the less financial. Should precede the nigger uh, question because yeah, the bathroom question. Because because she's I mean, hold on, skip the whore thing. I'm gonna change the order a little bit. Why don't you, mm. Since we're doing money, and we were all very uncomfortable with the N word, <laughs> but I said you gotta be, you gotta appear to be racist uh -huh. and not and not think just twice. Reel it out. Yeah. Pull. Well, having the the woman with the British accent ask the question was perfect. And I changed that. You'll hear in the rehearsal. Okay. Because originally a different kid was asking. No, that, that was that was perfect. Right. Why don't you go back to your door then? I'm on the outside. Right. I, 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 this is so good that I'm afraid the when, as soon as you say four, he's he's I'm gone. Give it away. So let's skip that. So after your question about free CDs and free tickets. Uh, so no, we can't help you out with any of that. We can't help you out with free CDs and tickets. Okay. Tom, uh, I know over Letterman. They I think I think we're going out the door. Yeah. Oh, he's going off to pull it. Actually, right. can I can I suggest? I think it's better to go to him because his question is actually sort of legitimate about being the Letterman interns get paid. Can we get it's paid? It's, 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 it's actually it's not expenses. All it's right. On air. Okay. All right. You want to go that way? Would that be better? Okay. All right. So I can't help you out with CDs and tickets. See, this is really Tom. structured. Oh yeah. Oh please. We ha really wait till you hear structured. us. We pull this off like Mission this Impossible. Yeah. This was our third rehearsal. Yeah. By the way, this is the third rehearsal. Oh. Yeah. You're See not, how they work for you? Yeah, Tom, we did this all for you. <laughs> I know uh, over at the Letterman Show, when the interns get on the air or anything like that, they use their voice, uh, they get paid for it. And I was wondering if you do that here, because there's a chance that any any one of us can get on the air and we're wondering if we can get some money out of it. No. But no. It's, a, if it's, a, it's CBS, same company. Yeah, I know, but no, we can't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry we can't. Well, I have a, I have a question. It's kind of about money. Um, the other morning when I was coming in, I opened my Jeep door and somebody like ran right All in. Right, the so you get the idea. Right. This is how we rehearsed. Okay. So everybody had right. to actually do it. Right. So now times. it was time. And we ended our meeting early so we wouldn't lose time. We were I afraid. Wonder if the interns got nervous. Uh, well, I rehearsed them so many times over an hour and a half uh -huh. that they were loose as a goose. And really? you'll see. Yeah. Oh, great. They started out very. Some of them were nervous in uh -huh. the beginning. Did, look, before and was you this started? the first time yeah. that you took questions, or did Yo, you yeah, always? Oh no! Oh, they have asked questions no, before. Yeah, oh, I didn't know. In fact, that. they've always encouraged questions before. Yesterday, though, what, what, had... Tom has nothing better to do. He loves <laughs> to answer questions. <laughs> Please, Yesterday. I'd love to spend yeah. all afternoon with you. No. Right, so Tom <laughs> comes in to make his opening <laughs> statement. Oh, you have I a may. statement yes, to make? Go ahead. If I may. Yeah. Yesterday, I had no intention of taking questions because I waited to see you about something else. Right. I was already late for a lunch date. Golf game. And, no, yeah. No, yeah. All right. Lunch date. Well, yeah. And, it was not good for golf. Right. And, um, <laughs> yes. So the last thing in the world I wanted to do was take questions. Right. Because I'm just trying to get out of here. I am late <laughs> and I don't want to, you know. All right. Let's, let's. That's line great. Up. All right. So and, and, here's and, Tom. Tom uh, it comes in and gives a good uh, five minute speech, but I cut it down because it's very dull. But you know what's it's funny not, is that he uh, would have. Very complimentary, though. Would yes. have liked not to have taken questions, but these questions were so. He realized that these people really needed his. Yeah, yeah they really. I really do. So, I was so blown away by the first question. It was like, oh, All right. wait a minute, what could come after this? All right, here we go. Everybody sit back, relax, and hear Tom in his meeting okay. getting shanghaied. 
<laughs> so this is Tom Chisano, everybody. He's our general manager. Uh, among the most picked on and abused people in broadcasting, um, but I'm happy for it. Uh, I, I, this is I, I make this speech every term. Every term we have a new you know, a new group of interns, and um, I'm kind of actually late doing this. And uh, um, I do it because I want you to understand that. He does it because he has nothing better to do. Yeah, no, I, I love addressing yeah. if, if, people. No, 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 no. I, I do it because you are a very dull public speaker. By the way, I got to talk to you. I, about I did. This. Watch the whole tape. Oh. I do. I, I did. Already did. All right. I, Hopefully, I, it will be a great, fun experience for you. Um, something that you learn at. Hopefully, learn a lot at, and you know, it'll this make those credits that you're gonna that you're gonna be getting for being interns here actually mean something to you. Um, there's a lot of fun involved. There's some downsides. So and I just kind of make sure, want to make sure that everybody understands that if anybody has a problem with the downsides, the fact that you know the show can be body, I think is a is a good word. Um, you know that there is an unbelievable amount of uh, pornographic or certainly X-rated material that comes. Unbelievable what? amount. There, there's a lot. An you, unbelievable you go, amount. You go, you go, you go All right, out. okay, we, we understand. He's unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes, it's yes, so Fred. unbelievable. Yes, he Fred. Still can't believe it. <laughs> he can't I, believe it. I, I, He's been here 17 uh, years. He can't believe it. I, by the way, it's 14. 14 years? It's 14. All right. And Claire Bloom was married to Rod Steiger. Thank you. Thanks for clearing that up. What the? You're going back to a six o'clock reference. Yeah. Exactly. George C. Scott. I don't even know right. what he's talking right. about. You're right. I know what he's talking about. You know why? Because I'm on his wavelength. <laughs> right. Good for you. Come on. We're, we're in the middle of Tom's big right. speech. And this Please, is cut down. I'm having too much fun with the unbelievable. Wait. Okay. <laughs> you, show, you know, that we have an obligation to you, to your parents, um, to your school, but mostly to you to make sure that you don't, you're not involved in, you know, what you might consider a hostile work environment. Um, if it ever gets that way and anybody says, you know what? This is Tom's sexual harassment speech. Right. He's yeah. trying to clear the company right away. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> Before he's, anything happens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you kids, you're going to file a claim here? It ain't going to happen, okay? That's right. I got a speech for you. I got this covered every which way to Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I've talked to my lawyers. Yeah, I've talked to everyone. I know exactly what to tell you. In fact, Absolutely. I would like you all to leave now. Absolutely. <laughs> right, here we go. I can't look at another Penthouse magazine or I don't want to have to file another triple x-rated video that comes through because Howard's doing his porno of the month um, that's okay you know and you have the right to not want to be involved with that stuff if you so choose you've passed a very stringent interview process to get in here because um, Kathy's really good about this she really does an excellent job in trying to select not that we don't have a few get through who we kind of scratch our heads about it you know on, on occasion here he is complimenting Kathy on his on our choice of interns right. and you but every roll. once in a while, she baffles him. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we have had but some really good making sure that, you know, that Howard and the show has a very high quality of interns. I mean, we've worked together for almost 15 years now. Um, I still laugh every day. You know, I still enjoy being around the show. Um, and, and Don't believe it. I and mean, sometimes it's not easy for me to, you know, uh, some people say, well, how well, can you... he enjoys you know, how irritating can... us. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> To say that after all these years and all that he and, puts And these through. moments only make the irritation all the more enjoyable. <laughs> because it's funny. Tom wakes up every day wondering, say, how are they going to F with me today? Right. Uh, okay. How am I going to get them back? Well, it's all done with a sense of humor. Is this the most boring speech you ever heard? Uh, but I had to leave it. Uh, I had to leave some of it to show you to how. make you believe. They look, and they all looked asleep. <laughs> and, they were uh, enthralled. You know, and it's a joke. Wake up. I, mean, for, I think I'm one of the lucky ones. I get the joke. And obviously there are millions. Tom gets the oh, joke. Yeah. He's a lucky He's one. one of the lucky ones. He gets, he gets the, the joke. joke. One of the few. No, I You're one of the lucky ones. I said I'm one of the You're one of the lucky ones. Along with millions of other <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> with other people around this country who get the joke. And, and hopefully you'll be laughing and learning at the same time. Nice one. Okay. So thanks. Tom, I've got a question. All right, here we go. Here we like, go. You, you just mentioned like if we have like any kind of problems. One problem I counter is like I'm coming from New Jersey at Rutgers and it's cost me like seventeen dollars a day to get here and I calculate by the end of the whole internship it'd be like I think like almost eight hundred dollars. So like because I'm here part time and taking classes and before preparing for the LSAT, I can't work a part time job. And I'm aware that other internships, you know, offer some kind of stipend, whether it be like Yeah, ours don't though. I know, but like I had like I had a friend who worked at who actually interned at Johnson Johnson, which is a big company. Right. Like our company. And uh, they actually had, they had a cafeteria inside which provided like breakfast or lunch or nothing too expensive, like a bagel here, you know, a bagel sandwich. So I was wondering like, you know, why or if you have something like that or... We, we don't. 
Um, could, did we just could ask for seventeen dollars. <laughs> so funny because Tom is like, money, no. Yeah, right Tom is like, you don't even money? have to finish. Tom here's money. seventeen dollars. That sounds like seventeen thousand dollars to Tom. Bagel, <laughs> no. You know, I, I hear you. You know, and it's just kind of what you see is what you get. I mean, the the setup is what the. We've heard that before. You see nothing, you get nothing. <laughs> right. <laughs> is, you know that, that we don't offer expenses. We don't have a cafeteria. Um, you know, is there there is a we don't even have air conditioning. We don't have a cafeteria. Yeah. <laughs> Benefits of that free lunch every Wednesday. I think when uh, you know when Ranch One delivers. And He's telling them when Ranch One delivers, you guys can fight over that. That's right. <laughs> your free lunch. Throw After the, the staff floor. gets theirs, you can yeah. get yours. Yeah, after Howard and Robin eat everything. <laughs> and, um, you know, and there have been some interns that, you know, when we've needed part-time help, um, you know, who, you know, we, we've hired, you know, and, and paid out of petty cash or whatever from time to time. Um, but those, you know, those are very limited. You know, you shouldn't hold out hope for that. The good news is, kids, we don't charge you. Uh. Every <laughs> once in a while, after you give and give and give until yeah. you have nothing more to give, we sometimes throw you a bone. Yeah, by the way, kids. Out of petty cash. Yeah, by the way, kids. <laughs> You know, the college charges you guys for an education. We're thinking of actually calling this a university and making your parents pay. What do they Not pay? You. Yeah. But don't hold out hope for that. Right. Um, and it really is, unfortunately, you know, from that end, that's kind of, I guess that's the part of the cost. I don't know if you get a better deal from Rutgers for these credit hours that you're getting. Um, well, it just really just, it's it's my, I'm, I'm taken out from, I don't even know where. Right. It's, it's just a lot. I mean, I'm sure, you know, we all agree. Well, we get here by train or, you know. You know what? I, I, it's, I hear it's, you. It's, 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 I hear you, but let's move on. I don't want to talk exactly. about yep. money. Hear you. I got to go have lunch <laughs> that I put on the company credit card. No. From a point of view, it's extremely difficult to come in three times a week. As much as I love it, I love working here. And Kathy, by the way, where Tom lives, it's against the law to show emotion. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. I hear it's awesome. It's just that it just sucks financially. It really does. And I know that other internships, you know, do help, you know, their students out. You know what? I mean, no problem. And if there's, it, you know, um, this is what the intern program is here. You know, that the company, um, CBS, Viacom, Infinity, you know, I mean, Infinity Where Radio, which is really who you... Uh, Tom doesn't even know what to call <laughs> the company. Oh, <laughs> yeah. CBS, Viacom, <laughs> Infinity, Infinity. Hasbro, Infinity. Mattel. Hasbro. <laughs> Every week it changes. Infinity the makers Radio. of Barbie. <laughs> Mobile. <laughs> Mobile. <laughs> Mobile. Last week we're a billboard company. <laughs> Every week the company changes. <laughs> Golf and Western. There are also Infinity Ventures. It's a growing company. That are involved in the internet. I am Mark. I am Mark. It's a peach. You could buy stock. Park of Yoda. Joke Land. Kentucky Park Chicken. 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 Right. It is I a public it. company. <laughs> you can buy stock. <laughs> buy stock, but we won't buy your lunch. All right. So, all right. So, Tom's getting right, right. a little irritated, I think. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, nothing throws me. Guys, uh, the station, about money. Who owns the station and operates the station. Um, this is the way it is throughout the company. And. Uh, um, and I'm not aware of any move afoot to change that. Slave labor. Um, <laughs> so, you don't feel like I'm sorry, it. and if it's a burden, you should, you know. Do they have more money else. now, though, since they just bought no. another company? I have a question, Tom. Sure. What about? Oh, they have less money. <laughs> no, we never have more money. No, no that's no impossible. <laughs> We had our best year, but we have no more money. We make a lot of money, but there's never any money. Yeah, don't let the door hit you on your ass. All right, come on. We have a lot. We have a lot of tape to get to, and the good questions are yet to come. Right. And you know, at the radio station. What's your name? Rob. Rob. Okay. Oh, he's noting his name. Uh oh. Um, here at the I said this kid's in trouble. <laughs> Tom never asked Tom anybody's name. Just made a mental note. Right. Right. <laughs> Troublemaker. Right. Alicia, I noticed they get like a lot of CDs and stuff from all these record companies. I mean, they, there's a there's a stack that's all in Howard's office. Will we be able to get like any free CDs or anything? I mean, I know, a lot of that stuff comes in stuff like duplicates. Comes out, you know, we put and we put out whatever you know, whatever is excess, whatever is available. You know, we're happy to put out, and we do that from time to time. You know, from all the extra things that show up. You know, people send it unsolicited, and um, and from time to time, you know. Mike Pierre clears it, cleans out the uh, his music library from. Gives you all the crappy CDs. Well, yeah, the stuff he doesn't want. Right. <laughs> Just things, oh, I but, say that at the end. You know, I don't think I don't. I don't think it's too often that there's extra copies of the new Rage Up CD that are put out. Tom's already angry. Everyone's asking for stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they want things. Yeah, these are Damn money grubbers. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. They sound like they sound like Jackie. <laughs> um, are there ever free concert tickets that we have access to? My right backstage passes. <laughs> that, one got me. that was not written. Somebody ad libbed. Uh, right. <laughs> time to time, maybe. Um, but no, I mean, you know, that's we we we, can, we get concert tickets. We give them away on the air. 
um, you know, or we're, or if you're going to work a concert, then certainly we're going to get you in. And um, <laughs> no, you have to buy a ticket. Oh, if you work, work the in the past, well, we had the entrants paid to work the exactly. concert, but we're going to let you in. <laughs> Don't call us. <laughs> he, he's trying to give him something. Oh. All right. Yeah, if you get to work, you'll get in for free, <laughs> as opposed to paying. <laughs> <laughs> we of course would let you in. If Most people would be embarrassed in. to say that. Well, no, 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 not Tom. No, 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 we understand. Okay, okay, here we go. You never have to pay for that. Right, um, we understand. You know, like I don't know how many people were at the, uh, the MTV Music Awards the other night. Uh, the VMAs, I mean, and uh, I don't know if we got people into the hall or not, but certainly. So uh, it's just Ka Kathy knows. I mean, this is th it is the way it is. Oh, okay. Kathy knows all too well. <laughs> I, 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 keep, I keep looking for. Okay, Kathy, could you tell them to stop asking these? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, please. Kathy's just sitting there. No, Did Kathy she tell you already? Kathy or, was real good. Yeah, you already know the score. Stop <laughs> hounding me. <laughs> no, and there's not a lot of freebies, and that's you know, it's just this is not available. Right. Not available the only to thing the free is your labor. Right. <laughs> To the staff, you know, to any more than they are or less to the intern staff. Tom, um, I know that over at the Letterman show, I had a friend of mine that worked over there, and whenever they would use an intern on the air, whether they just use his voice or they like put him on the show um, to do any sort of thing, they would actually air. They gave him some sort of um, financial benefit almost, and I was wondering, since this is like the same company, it's all CBS. If why why that doesn't happen here and what happens for uh, TV other has, like, like I'm assuming TV has a different different policy and maybe because they're actually on camera, you know, there's a, some kind of a SAG responsibility there. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, and I don't want to know. That is right. a SAG responsibility. I, say, I, didn't know. I don't care. In one ear, out the other. <laughs> Radio. <laughs> I don't know anything about giving people money. My wallet is staying in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you down with this? Here we go. Back to Tom. You enjoying yourself so far? <laughs> like this? <laughs> this is great. I have a question too. I mean, it's kind so of. So your name? My name's Sarah. Um, money related was the other morning when I was being dropped off at the train station in Jamaica. Um, someone actually, um, as I opened the door, they like drove right into the truck and like demolished a whole door. Um, and I know you were speaking about fair returns and petty cash and stuff. I was wondering, like, in a well, like petty that. Cash. <laughs> <laughs> Since he didn't did bring I say petty cash. <laughs> no, no, I, did, I say did I say petty cash? Did I say petty guy? I withdraw. I cash. withdraw that. <laughs> I said Johnny cash. Strike that from the record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did, I did. You know, would that be something that you know you could help me out with? Or, you know, I didn't. So you had an accident when, when you were going to the. That you had an accident as you were going to work. Right, yeah, I was just sat there, and you know. The, no, I no, I mean, no, no more than I would for if Kathy were driving a car and Kathy's car was, you know, it's it. She was Poor Kathy. If Kathy was killed, yeah. I would If Kathy was killed, I wouldn't even pay for the funeral. <laughs> if Kathy could afford a car. <laughs> Before she came to work, I and mean, that's it's not part of the deal. As if it was my car. Well, no. Kathy gets here at a reasonable hour, and I know that Sarah has to be out at like 4 a.m. She probably wouldn't have been in Jamaica at 4 a.m. had it not been for her internship no, here. But I, I think that I think we laid that out as that you know that's the downside to the intern. You know, to being an intern in the morning, you know. See, there is a downside. <laughs> you come in at your own risk. Early. Can everybody hear this okay? Yeah. I mean, I know it's a little muffled because we yeah. couldn't get microphones right on top of people. Right, but All no, right. it's good. All right, here we go. Lavalier me, right. I wanted to lavalier <laughs> you. I was going gonna to shoot you with a dart <laughs> and, and knock you unconscious and lavalier you. Dart. Right. Rose starts at 6 o'clock in the morning. You should have to wear a lavalier every day. <laughs> that way, because we know we're going to be taping you. <laughs> Letterman starts later. I, I have a question, Tom. If it's not, not about money, it's, um, it actually goes back to what he said. If we are, if we do come in and we actually get on the air, I'm not real clear about what we can and can't say on the air. You know, I mean, can you go over? Just watch, just watch your language. You know, don't, don't, don't curse. Don't talk about. I mean, uh, I know there's supposed to be seven words, but I don't even know what the seven words are. I mean, I know we're trying to get Tom to say the seven Tom words. Tom won't no, say no, them. Tom won't say them. Tom wasn't biting. It. Tom's religious. <laughs> <laughs> the obvious ones, but I can only come up with like five. <laughs> uh, Guys, I mean, I really want to get on the air, and I know they do a lot of interviews and stuff. Oh, well, now here comes the N-word uh, question, yeah. but Tom interrupts it, but we get back to it. Um, sure, I'd love to be on the air here and in my future career, but I was just wondering, you know, if I took it, took the initiative to go out and interview homeless people and niggers or something, if that would be okay? Homeless people and... Niggers? Oh. Oh, White sorry, people? I... Sorry, I... Yeah, no, I niggers is a very pejorative term. Oh, I'm sorry. In this country, you know. Yeah, oh. It's great. Um... And you know, that's that's up to niggers ah. is a pejorative term. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, now we it's have to have somebody insult. explain Tom. <laughs> <laughs> what does that sounds worse? <laughs> Tom stopped it, stunned in his tracks. <laughs> niggers is a pejorative term. <laughs> oh, with guineas and kikes. <laughs> niggers, guineas, kikes. 
<laughs> he speaks oh, he poses <laughs> all are pejorative <laughs> what does that mean Sandy pejorative to <laughs> it's derogatory it's, it's, oh, oh, Howard, yeah. you know how Tom you know, knows these words yeah he took out a book, a vocabulary book, and read all these all these different words. No, no, what? no. Here, come on, Tom. You, no, he's just, I, he's I'm at, up to the peas. No, <laughs> pejorative. The word of the day the story, is pejorative. John asked me. Some, uh, somebody asked me what the word meant. Right. And they asked me why I knew the word. And I right. said I knew the word, you know, and because after I get out of college, I, I did study vocabulary books. Oh, you're a power builder. That's what that's called. I was trying to, you know, I was trying I to improve my vocabulary. Jumble. Dale Carnegie says that. Learn seven new words a day. And Tom mm-hmm. took his advice. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> pejorative. <laughs> so absolutely, yes, I do admit to after having studied term. vocabulary. Right. Today's word is peony, a flower. <laughs> so nobody knows what he means. <laughs> peony. Yes. It is found in New Mexico. It is a bright purple flower. <laughs> more syllables, more you syllables. Know it was almost like his robot chip blew Oh, it's a proper use of the word. That's all I know. <laughs> Tom, you studied a lot of vocabulary? I did study vocabulary. Right. Wow. It was almost like his robot chip blew up when she said that. He goes, home. Homeless and homeless and. <laughs> I wonder if he could spell pejorative. Homeless and no, 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 no. Doesn't compute. Any fun? That is a pejorative term. It does not compute. <laughs> homeless and no, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't find that word in the dictionary. <laughs> she was that real was good though. She was great. Yeah, oh. she didn't make a big oh. deal about and it. And you know what? Yeah. And when I looked at her, she looked at me like. Oh, I didn't know that's a bad word. Yeah, but I know. She rehearsed it she just really that good. way. Yeah. She was really good. Oh, Want to hear that part again? Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> it's a pejorative term. That is a no, pejorative no, term. No, 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 no. <laughs> Pejorative, and you can do what you want. Homeless and no, no, no. My brain is smoking. Somebody had to smack him on the back of the head to keep. Me. What do I do? All praise Mel. What would Mel do? What would Mel say? Kill the intern. Kill. He would fire kill, her. Kill the intern. Right? All right, right. I was hoping he'd fire someone right on the spot and say, you can't work here Get anymore. Get her out of here. Yeah, like, just get out. Who needs you here? No, 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 no. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> Sarah. No, 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 no. Goodbye. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hey, hey goodbye. Okay. <laughs> so I, I mean, I really want to get on the air, and I know they do a lot of interviews and stuff. Um, sure, I'd love to be on the air here and in my future career, but I was just wondering, you know, if I took it, took the initiative to go out and interview homeless people and niggers or something, if that would be okay? Homeless people and... <laughs> niggers? Oh, oh like, sorry. Well, I, you see the t- sorry, you I... See the look. Yeah, I know, n- n- niggers is a very <laughs> pejorative term. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in this country. You know, oh. in this country. Um, <laughs> and, you know, that's... That's up to Gary. I mean, Gary is <laughs> if you should interview homeless people and niggers. <laughs> no, 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 it's not <laughs> no, I know, I know. Oh, you no, know, I know you recognize that as racist. <laughs> you direct that stuff for to Casey, who, whichever. You know, Gary's the, the executive producer. You know, I mean, so you Mom need to off. discuss. If you have creative ideas like that, you should bring them. Oh. To <laughs> creative ideas. <laughs> About no. <laughs> if you have creative ideas about no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, that's the best. Oh. Oh. All right, next question. But he's cool. <laughs> he's cool and calm. He's cool. He charges forward. I have creative <laughs> ideas <laughs> about... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm to Gary. We're to KC. Okay. Um, and also, I know, Tom, uh, there's like a bunch of weekends when I, when I go back to school, and I know that like I'll go back and... I'll talk to a bunch of people, and girls will come up to me that know that I'm working for um, working for Howard Stern this semester, and they want to sleep with me. And I was wondering if that's like frowned upon. Like here, is there like a rule against that or something like that? <laughs> Same thing here. <laughs> is this being recorded? No, no, no. This is when Tom wants to know if it's being taped. Is this a goof for the show? <laughs> okay. Um, Again, his look was great. His look was good, and, and they they it, recovered, and Tom was right back in. His look was great. Well, I even rehearsed them. Well, if Tom asks that question, here's how you look. Uh-huh. You know, so we the, the interns You're were a good director. They were beautiful. You're You're a good they director. they followed everything. This is really yeah. good. I felt like Alan Funt was alive. <laughs> Jackie, I want my money back. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, mean, I, should, like, I don't know you, if there's you, any sort of ties you, that I have with the station because I know we sign contracts. Your, your personal life is your own. 
you know, your personal, you know, set of morals or your own. And, uh, and if women come up to you because you're an intern at the Stern Show and they want to sleep with you, if you think that's motivation that would want to make you sleep with them, you know, that's up to you. It's like a priest. I would not do it. I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> Take a cold that's shower. Up to Who you. are these women? But Depends. if a woman wants to sleep with <laughs> you just any because me, you're on me, the Howard me. Stern show, I would not do it. <laughs> Have morals. <laughs> it's, a good an- it's a good answer. Fight the pressure. <laughs> it's a good answer. Take a shower. That Take a cold shower. That's what I do. <laughs> Ice yourself. When I feel like cheating on Penelope, I take a cold shower. Women throw themselves at me all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I fight the power. I'm handsome. You can see that. <laughs> Why don't you wreck people's morals? I, don't I put ice cubes in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> wreck anybody's morals but my own. I have a question for you, Tom. Um, I, I, I feel like I'm actually late. Last, last two questions, then I gotta go. Okay. Everyone's asking you a variety of different questions. I know Howard talks a lot about you on the air. I was right. just wondering, what exactly do you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you do? This will just take a minute. Wait a minute. We all want to hear this. That, now you're going to know. <laughs> that is a complicated question. I it's am the first time anyone manager. asked me. Please allow me to elaborate. I am uh, responsible the for everything. The follow-up to this question is the better question. The follow-up is good, Which yeah. is where you tried to set me up. Right. Right. Wow. Uh, if it happens within the... Four- I just want to get to who is responsible for hiring the grease man. Because <laughs> uh, well, Tom's the one who did yeah. that. The one that you tried to set me up on those, you know, so what was it like when you ha- when you hired Howard? Right. Because I was wanting to see if you'd take credit right. for it. And, no, you you did and, fine. Okay, okay. watch. He's watch what happens. Yeah. Yeah. He is. I said, but I told the interns you'd be honest about that. Walls of this radio station. I said you'd try to squirm out of the grease man debacle. <laughs> no. Really? Okay, listen. <laughs> I'm responsible for it ultimately. Uh, I'm responsible ultimately for the content that goes out on this show. I'm responsible for the sales of the radio station, for the engineering of the radio station. When Howard's not happy with the setup for the band, ultimately that winds up back with me. If I didn't realize. Now I know who's responsible. No, I said that. It just listen. To me. I said I well, am responsible you, what, for it. I do morning. nothing, but I'm responsible. Yeah, he's responsible. Yesterday and when morning. things go wrong, he never takes responsibility. <laughs> no, no, that's right. not true. I got Barry Williams in here. I can't even get the thing mic'd. <laughs> but happy with the air conditioning in the studio. Ultimately, that winds up back with me. Um, if we have a sales budget to hit, I have a sales manager, I have a number of sales managers and sales people who all work for the answer to their, you know, directly to their sales managers who answer to Tom loves this question. But uh, no. Dave, this is not what he it's does. A, it, it is a, he's responsible. Everybody asked him, what do you do? Hey, now he said, he's telling you well, wait, he's no, wait, responsible. Wait, wait. what I do right. is... <laughs> yeah, what do you do? You don't what sell. Do you, do? you don't? Oh, no, that's all not right, true. All right, let's see. That's not true. Were you responsible in getting Howard here? No, I, I, I was I was involved in the process, but no. I mean, I, I, you know, uh, Mel Carmazin. Uh, no. As soon as he mentions Mel Carmazin? He goes. He even ass kisses Mel in front of interns. This should be music. Yeah, wait till you hear this. He gets drear. He gets dreamy. Ma, 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 Mel. Watch. With my boyfriend. With God. <laughs> with, I love him. A rather important man in the broadcasting oh. industry now. Um, I worked for directly back then, and have worked for since 19 actually 81. I'm secretly uh, in love with him. Mel had a relationship <laughs> with. You know, He's a beautiful mother. body. He is. Yes. He keeps He's leaving me for other his managers. Salt and pepper <laughs> hair. He's handsome, yeah. right? He has salt and pepper <laughs> hair. His powerful forearms. He, right? <laughs> <laughs> he scoops me up in now his arms. Now he's romancing <laughs> Sumner <laughs> Redstone. Now he's kissing Mel's ass in front of the intern, uh, uh, who was a, a very important man in the he broadcast in the industry. Broadcast he wears nice suits. Yeah. There's been a little. There was BK and AK. My life before Carmazin and after Carmazin. Howard's agent. So it really came through that, but I was certainly. Involved in the process because I was the general, I was the general manager back then, and um, you know, I'm very much involved. Uh, I am not taking I don't take credit for, nor did I make the final decision whether to bring Howard here or not. And I certainly was, you know, involved in it and very supportive of bringing him. What about the grease man? Are you responsible for yeah. that? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, I accept responsibility. Ultimately, yeah. I accept. You know, I would like to squirm out of it, but yeah. I have to accept yeah. responsibility. Ultimately, I do have to accept responsibility. <laughs> That's the funniest. I have no I one to you didn't it. hide behind a rock. Right. You were a man about it. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I had an idea for a bit where I went you out. You should discuss your bit ideas with Gary. 
Oh, well, I just want to know if you thought this was appropriate if I went out on the street and say I threw feces at someone to no, just get I their would, reaction and tape record it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that's the point. You've had it. I've, I've had You're it. out of there. I'm ready to go. <laughs> this right. crew should be locked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it'd be pretty funny, though. I wouldn't think it's appropriate. Um, it's not appropriate, unless Howard thinks so. <laughs> Throwing or, feces is pejorative in this country. If Mel says it's okay, I'm for it. If ma, 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 Mel says okay. Um, I have a question? Yeah. Um, I know that after the show, some of us come in here and clean up the studio, and is it possible that we could use Howard's bathroom when he's not here? Since we're already in the studio. There's a bathroom down the hall, right? We, no one uses Howard's bathroom. I don't Howard. even use Howard's bathroom. I would like to. I have peed on the seats a number of times. I'd rather but. pee in my pants <laughs> <laughs> than use Howard's bathroom. He doesn't, he doesn't, <laughs> do it. He doesn't no, know. Do. I Mine's sneak directive. in. Right. Nobody else uses that but him. This is nice, though. What do you say? Is it nice? His is nice, though. Yeah, his is nice. nice. Stay out. <laughs> Stay out of Stay Howard's out. bathroom. Damn you. Damn you. I have enough problems. <laughs> Ultimately, it is my and responsibility. That, and with that, Tom left. Oh. Yes. And, then, and, then, and then, then told Kathy, Kathy she had very poor judgment in hiring interns. Kathy, so there it is. I would like to see you for a moment. You are in big trouble. <laughs> a round of applause for me, please. You chose you 10 mental, but you were great. You, you were, were consistently you were, uh, Tom. You know what? Wow. But you were Tom. You were Tom. <laughs> and you played it well. Hey, hey, did you like that bit, John? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> I was crying. It was yeah. so good. Tom Stumpton. I'm driving in my car. almost got into an accident twice. I'm in the tunnel. I missed some of it. I love the show. I've enjoyed the show for years. I've never laughed this hard. Oh. Fantastic. Tom, once again, you've Thank proven you. what a hey. genius you are. <laughs> Here's to me. I'm ultimately responsible. <laughs> and you know what? He gets the joke. That's important. That's Although important. I do want to know, if I did get in an accident, would Tom be willing to reimburse me for the, the, no, the car? I'm, I'm sorry. No. Listening I want to you, say that you now. You at your own expense. That's, right. That's not part of it. <laughs> no. All right. Thanks, John. Thank you. Right. Um, okay, so why don't we take a break? Yes, thank you, Tom. Tom, oh, thank pleasure. you for being a good sport. <laughs> <Happy to> entertain. <laughs> 